Hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato. This is what if Naruto was a kitsune and had special renegons. Now, let me do a recap on what happened last time. Okay, so Naruto was, of course, born. He has a nine tails, blah, blah, blah. The full nine tails. He, when he was six years old, he saved Hinata from some bullies, but still got his ass beat. But Naruto used the snow, like, lift it up and attack people with. The uh, Hinata uh, guard, the Hua guard, did come and help Naruto, put him in the hospital. Not, like, actually hurt him or anything, but help him out. Uh, of course, the hospital... <coughs> some people don't like Naruto, some people do like Naruto. Because, yeah. <coughs> they can tell between a kunai... And a person, so I mean, yeah. Uh, then after that, Naruto has like met well Hinata at the Hyuga compound by like talking her to her and all that. Hiyashi uh, has his brother uh, Hizashi, and of course, uh, when the uh, kidnapper to try to kidnap Hinata still happened, Naruto was the one to defeat him, but of course, didn't kill him. Naruto actually did the uh, well, the air palm pretty decent he didn't like fuck himself up but i mean he's still there but yeah um of course this is where they kind of met well her well not met her they told her about that this that that then after a while after naruto is eight years old naruto was sparring against naji and actually found out that he had a sharing gun a special sharing gun black and white only one to my in each not two to my or three he was so fast. Let me say that again. He was so frustrated in fighting Neji that he asked that yeah he just activate the Sharingan without even knowing. Of course, it's when they go to uh, Haruzen and ask him about what bloodlines he has. Haruzen found out that he has about five in total: Senju, Chiha, Namakaze, Uzumaki, and Yoshi. Y Yoshin. Now, so. When that was happening, so that's his five below lines, of course. <clears throat> I did a time skip where he was nine years old. The Uchiha Master still happened, and blah, blah, blah. Um, then, then I skipped it to where another, well, three years. So, of course, Naruto wears, was about to wear an orange jumpsuit. Well, orange, yeah. Orange, uh... Jumpsuit to uh, the uh, whole graduation, but before I've been doing that, Hinata kind of made him go back, and yeah. So of course, uh, the uh, graduation would be until like next week and all that, whatever. Uh, and then, well, but that's time. Naruto was sparring with Hinata at the compound. So that's where I kind of left it off. So, Naruto. He is, well, just trying with Hinata and using, well, his adamant. Since, yeah, the Hyuga kind of just decided to try to, well, train them and try to use the elements. But, of course, I forgot to mention, this is where Hiyashi and his, uh, yeah, Hiyashi and Hizashi were actually just being perverse and thinking about Naruto and Hinata together. Now, let me mention this one thing. I haven't thought of a ship for now. Since one of my comments when I when I did upload this or whatever said I fucking hate Hinata and Naruto ships. The problem is I haven't actually thought of doing a Hinata and Naruto ship. I mostly thought of doing this as a like Hinata and Naruto being like siblings, like good friends, siblings like that. Like friends. I never mentioned that there would be that this was a ship or anything. Damn, people are so dense as hell. But yeah, um yeah, that's uh, how I never mentioned that. It's just Hinata is someone that can, like, make Naruto be afraid. Like, anyone can be afraid of Hinata when she's, like, scary. Like, scary piss. So, yeah. So, Naruto is just trying with Hinata. And Hinata is just trying to use Gentle Fist while Naruto is using Anti-Gentle Fist. Blocking out the attacks. So, with that happening, Naruto is just, well... Kicking at Hinata. Hinata's managing to dodge. Of course, this is where Naruto's using his Sharingan and fighting her. This is which I mentioned that he had a one to my Sharingan. 
when he was nine years old. Now he has only a two to my charm. He barely uses his charm gun that much. He trains in other things, not using the charm gun at all much time. He did train how to use elements. Well, different like elements with his like Yoshi clan and all that. So of course this is where Hisashi and he uh, Hiyashi did try to like train him in the element things. So they put fire right in front of him and Naruto almost burned the compound down. Luckily Hisashi isn't dumb enough to not like focus on the gentle fist that much. So he uses water so Yeah. <clears throat> Hiyashi's like, bro, wait, you know water so? His actually says, yes, I don't focus on, on only the gentle fist. Jesus fucking Christ. And then, you know, she's like, fine. So, Naruto is like, <clears throat> he tries to, bend, like, try to manipulate the water also. He just using the water, like, manipulating it to come closer to him. And when Naruto just put his hand out, like, think of, he thought of something else. Like, he was thinking, wait... Water. Hmm. He just grabs water. Like, he physically grabs it. And Naruto was thinking of something else. Like, he was thinking of just a, some sword in his head. A sword pops out, like, explodes. The water explodes. And behold, Naruto has a sword made out of water. It's kind of curved. The sword is kind of curved. And Hiyashi and, and Zashi are just, like, amazed with Naruto creation water cells. What well, water? He created something from water. And Naruto, when he went to a tree and used the sword to slice at the tree, he actually did manage to do well, a cut on the tree. And his Ashi and Hiyashi was just like, holy fuck. So Naruto is pretty good in using that. So, of course, they check on Naruto's infinity. Well, they wanted to check on Naruto's chakra infinities. Found out that he has. <coughs> they found out that he has all. Infinities, fire, water, lightning, earth, uh, wind, darkness, light, um, lava. So yeah, the wind kind of cut the uh, what's called a paper into like multiple pieces, and actually just went into multiple like Kenka Kenkai's, and Hisashi and Hiyashi almost just fainted. They're <laughs> like Naruto can actually control so many infinities. Well, so many chakra infinities, since his Yoshi clan is basically a clan that usually manipulates, well, elements. Basically, it has in their name, so yeah. So, they try to give Naruto to control Earth. So, Naruto's trying to, like, lift up a giant chunk of Earth up, which he managed to do. And then he kind of moves his hands into, like, a crushing position. And then he tries to, well, manipulate the earth. He kind of managed to, well, uh, use the earth by manipulating it and all that. And actually turning it into spikes. Like, uh, not, yeah, spike spears and all that. So Naruto, while even noticing he did this, he throws it at the uh, wood. And a bunch of just spear spikes just stabs to a tree. He's actually, he's actually just amazed with his uh, progress in using the elements. So yeah, I mentioned that they haven't kind of did the graduation yet, even though they're 12 years old, but yeah. Hinata has starved with Naruto and using different elements. Hinata has managed to, well, attack Naruto. And, uh, well, she can't really go against Naruto's defense and water earth when he's using them, but when Naruto doesn't have any elements at all of any control, because if he's like... In the dojo, he has no animals to control. So, Hinata's rushing at him, and Naruto has no elements to control. So, this is when he activated his Sharingan. And his Sharingan are completely different from the original ones that he basically had been showing off. The black and white. They changed to red and blue. That he actually, well, well not red and blue, let me say that again. Blue and um, a light grayish blue. This is basically ice and water. That he just just made water appear out of nowhere. And that's just because there was moisture in the air. Yeah, because you're going to be sweating a lot. So yeah. 
He used the moisture from the air just to create water. And Hiyashi and Hidashi are just crazily shocked. They're like, what the fuck? Naruto is burning. Well, he, yeah, he's using Sharingan. Well, even noticing that the Sharingan actually boosts that, well, element. Well, I mean, the Yoshi kind. Because it's, since it kind of fused with the uh, Sharingan, yeah, it's going to be much powerful. Since that, Naruto, well, even noticing also, he tried to manipulate the water to make a sword. So when he grabbed into the water, he just tried to focus enough chakra. He focused enough chakra that he created the water that it kind of dispersed, but then kind of re impaired back in Naruto's hand into a sword, but turning into ice and rushes at Hinata. Now, the sword kind of looks like this. This is a sword that, well, Naruto created, an ice sword. As you know, Naruto created this ice sword. And this ice sword, he appeared right on his, like, right hand. And just tried to slice at Hinata. Now, Hinata was shocked that the sword was made out of ice instead of, like, normal water. Well, she was shocked anyway that it's made out of ice and how Naruto managed to create water out of thin fucking air. Then Hinata realized that there was moisture. Of course, she was sweating, and also other people were sweating. Naruto had just created that water into basically the moisture from the air, from all the sweat. And Naruto used it to create it into ice sword. Now, Hinata is shocked with the ice sword, but then realized Naruto's eyes had changed. There's still the Sharingan, the two to my Sharingan, but the problem is, instead of being black or white, basically yin or yang, but she doesn't know about the yin yang. It's blue and a grayish type of blue. Like sort of an ice color blue, okay? Naruto rushes at her, slicing at her, but of course she managed to dodge. She uses the Jutu Fish to block at Naruto's ice sword. Naruto uses well, the flat side of the sword so he wouldn't slice at Hinata. Hits Hinata. The, so Hinata uses Jutu Fist and the sword collided with her like Jutu Fist. Of course, Hinata managed to block it. And Art also managed to block the Chato Fist. They collide anyway, so they're just tied. But Hinata managed to notice one thing. Her fingers are turning into ice. The sword has another effect where anything that touches turns to ice. And Hinata jumps back and she's like, ah, My hand! What the? Yeah, it's turning into ice slowly. Naruto is barely even noticing that he's turning into ice. And Hidashi and Hayashi just shocked the fact that Naruto turned the, well, Hinata's hand, well, finger into ice. Naji is shocked. Naji is not proven into whatever bullshit of fate or anything. He doesn't care. What he cares is, well, I mean, okay, like, okay. okay. So, Naji does not care about this whole fate crap. So, when he's in his, like, team, team Mike Guy and all he doesn't care so he knows that Tenten has a crush on him and well so you know how uh, you know when uh, Tenten went into that whole dream world and found Neji being a pervert well in this one instead of Neji having a stick up his ass Neji's sort of chill and relaxed but at the same time sort of a pervert so Neji kind of has this whole stoic sort of personality of like he thinks well people think that he st still has to stick up his ass and all that but really he's just hiding the true fact about him he's a huge pervert so Tenten knows well not knows Tenten just has a huge crush on Neji and Neji well has the same with uh, Tenten so yeah so let me go back into Naruto so yeah, Neji is just seeing this whole fight and just scared and amazed and just like, well, fuck. Ha. Huh. Yeah, no, nothing. Let, let me not never fight against Naruto again. Yeah, he's he's not scared of Naruto fully. It's just the fact that Naruto just made an ice sword out of thin fucking air. It just shocked Neji and Neji's like, yeah, even when I'm inside, I'm not safe from Naruto. So yeah. So Naruto like dispelled the ice sword and ran up to Hinata and says, Hinata, I I'm sorry. And Hinata says, no, it's fine. And of course, Naruto just tries to, well, grabs Hinata's hand. And 
without noticing this, but Naruto's actually using the heat from his, well, his Sharingan decides to change into a red and a crimson red. So a light red and crimson red. And it was actually warming up Hinata's finger into back to normal. Basically, Naruto's using fire without even noticing it. He doesn't need the elements around him to actually use, well, the abilities. He can just, well, make him himself. So, of course, it'd be way easier for him to use it like that. So, yeah. And besides, wind is almost everywhere. So, I mean, you can't really stop wind. Unless you're in space. But you you can't fight in space. Besides, you, if Naruto decides to go against someone who's just went into space and fight Naruto, that person will probably die. Because, yeah, unless you're in Utsutsuki, you can't really fight against Naruto in space. So yeah, Naruto is just um, shocked and amazed that he did that. But then again, he needs to train more. Because after he kind of warmed up what's called Hinata's fingers and all that, he passes out. So he turned off his Sharingan. Well, his Sharingan turned off because he was wasting so much chakra. And he just passes out. Of course, this is where Hayashi and Hizashi kind of ran up and just, well, Hizashi grabbed Naruto and like, kind of picked them up to where sort of they have sort of a nurse thing well a nurse place in the uh, what's it called Hugo compound oh, so what the fuck is that noise oh my god some people outside just being so fucking annoying sorry about that figure out what the fuck that noise is but yeah um Naruto he just woke up the next day and all that. And he noticed that, yeah, he was in the white bed and noticed, ah, oh, shit, I'm in the sort of, um, not hospital place, but like nurse place of the Hugo compound. So he gets up and just walks out. But before he even gets to, well, get out of the compound, he noticed Hizashi was there. And Hizashi was like, oh, you're awake, Naruto. Naruto says, what time is it? Hizashi says, about... And nine o'clock. So, wait. Ten o'clock. You're two hours late to the uh, academy. And Naruto widened his eyes and said, Shit, Hinata's is gonna kill me. So, Naruto, like, said. And his eyes, he kind of just widened his grin. Just like a little, he's a little like prankster and all that. Like a little troll to Naruto and all that. And of course, Hinata's already in the school and all that. She probably thinks, yeah, Naruto had a very terrible time, but he passed out anyway. So, let me go to Hinata's purpose. Well, yeah. She's right now just sitting down and, like, listening to Ruka and all that. And uh, it's sort of recess time now. No, no, no. It would have been 12 o'clock. Then Naruto, so, yeah, so he passed out. Uh, let me just say it's 12 o'clock, where Naruto sort of liked to school. I don't know when the academy starts, so yeah. So, of course, uh, she was listening to Aruka, and then after it was recess, she was sort of sitting still in the academy. She was outside, but she was just sitting down eating. This is where Kiwa comes and just tries to just, well, try to be slick. He tried to be smooth with Hinata. Of course, Hinata does not like uh, Kiwa at all. He, she knows that Kiba is just trying to be whatever bullshit and all that. And of course, this is where Kiba does have well, another friend. Well, he has other people like the Inuzuka and all that. So even though the Inuzuka usually puts her air and all that, there was other kids that kind of went into the academy and all that. Of course, this, these other Inuzukas kind of doesn't have like their dogs and all that right now on them. So, this is where Akiba is trying to, like, flirt with Hinata really bad and all that. Like, trying to make her, well, trying to win her heart so he can have her. Of course, it's feeling terrible on him. He just sucks at anything. So, Naruto is now just rushing to the academy, just running full speed. Of course, Naruto is just running and all that. Jumping, like, on the, uh, what's it called? On the buildings? Yeah. Um, back to Hinata. Hinata just doesn't, like, like, uh, well, Kiba like that. 
And when Kiba says, you, sh you should definitely lose that, well, lose her behind. And Hinata just got kind of mad. Besides, no one ever calls Naruto a loser since Naruto was a senshu. So not many people actually like disrespect Naruto that much. Even though when he was an Uzumaki, they still sort of didn't disrespect, the, disrespect him that much. So when people found out that he was a senshu, people just started respecting him a little bit more. Not all of them, but yeah. So Kiba just grabbed Hinata from the shoulder and says, come on. And when he did that, of course, Hinata kind of just like felt like this weird, like anger, but at the same time scared because Kiba is so close and just, well, he has a very tight grasp on Hinata's shoulder. Now, of course, no one noticed this, but Sasuke was actually right behind the, Izun uh, the, the, the Inuzukas. Now, the Inuzukas, the two those that was kind of next to Kiba and all that, did not notice Sasuke. But Sasuke doesn't like when people are just rude to people and all that. Even though he's an Avenger, he kind of hates some people, okay? He hates Kiba a lot because Kiba is just some cocky bastard that he doesn't like. On a daily basis. Same with Naruto. Naruto does not like Kiba at all. But Hinata is sort of just scared. She's not, well, she's not nervous. She's just scared because Kiba has a very tight grasp on her, like, shoulder. Now, she, she, she just wants to scream. But before she gets to scream, this is where Sasuke kind of just kicked, well, one of the Nizukas and then, like, kicked the other one. So the other two just fall down, and then Kiba just realized who the hell just came back, and it was Sasuke right, of, well, right behind him. Now Kiba just like, <clears throat> "Damn Uchiha, what the hell are you doing? Mind your own damn business," Kiba said. Sasuke says, "Hmm, like I will mind my business. You're trying to do something or to her, probably something illegal." Is that some way to treat someone that's an heiress towards a clan? Besides, you're the weakest clan out of all well, all the uh, people here. So Kiba got angry and says, What did you say? But before he even get to do anything, Sasuke already kicked him in the fucking face. Since Kiba did fall down, he tried to get up but then gets kicked in the face. And Hinata was just saying... She was shocked, amazed, and just had a different feeling towards Sasuke. Not hatred, not, uh, well, fangirl and all that, but mostly thankful. So, Hinata then says, d d Thank you, Sasuke. Yeah. And Sasuke said, You're welcome. Of course, when Sasuke walked away, he was sort of blushing. Since Sasuke kind of likes Hinata. Even though he's a, a emo adventure, he kind of um, sees that Hinata does not like him at all. Not in such a fangirl way or anything. But yeah, Hinata also plush. So yes, um, <clears throat> this would be sort of the ship between Sasuke and Hinata. Since they're both Dojutsu users. And I'm not saying that Naruto is not going to get a ship in this one. It's going to be an OC because fuck it, why not? <laughs> I'm just saying. Because, first of all, Naruto sees Hinata as a sister, not really as a lover. Since, yeah, they've been together for a while. So, yeah. So, um, Naruto just managed to get to the academy and saw that Kiba got back up. And, of course, Hinata was thinking, well... Uh, Sasuke and Sasuke was walking away, so Sasuke could not react fast enough to like protect Kiba, well, Hinata from Kiba. So, of course, they were sort of talking Sasuke and Hinata for a little bit, and Kiba got back up, and of course, he pulled out something sharp and pointy, and was about to stab, well, Hinata in the back. Now, this is where Naruto managed to get there and saw what was actually going to happen. And Naruto could not l lose his, like, sister and all that. And Sasuke kind of didn't notice what was also going to happen, but could not do anything. And Naruto, well, since both Naruto and Sasuke could not do anything, 
Hinata managed to get stabbed in the back by Kiva, and Hinata did fall back, but of course, it wasn't a fight of pressure point where like she got stabbed and all that. But Sasuke was enraged that he activated his Sharingan to Tutumoye. He was so enraged. <clears throat> Someone that he liked getting stabbed through it, well, with the Kunai. Knife. And it wasn't Itachi this time, so yeah, he managed to activate his Sharingan to Tutumoye. Now, of course, it would have been a one, one Tomoe, but you realize this. Sasuke already had enough trauma to activate his Sharingan when it was a Uchiha Massacre. But he didn't do it because he passed out before even realizing he had a Sharingan. So yeah, um, Naruto was so pissed that he activated his three Tomoe Sharingan. Yes, he was so pissed because a sister figure that he sees, yeah... He sees the Hugo members as family and all that. Not every Hugo member hates him at all. Not, not really, cause, yeah, they can tell the Kunai between them. Yeah, you get the point. So he was enraged. Someone that he likes as a sister, and um, just gets stabbed by that damn dog. Naruto was so enraged that he had the three Tomoe uh, Sharingan activated, but his Sharingan had. A couple elements added into it. There was sort of it was kind of split into four sections of the Sharingan. So let me say this. So you realize that there's three tomoyas and one dot. That one dot was well white. The round around it, a little circle around the dot, is black. The tomoyas are red, green, and well blue. So fire, water, earth. Uh, both the uh, black and white are basically yin yang. The entire Sharingan, well, no. Let me say that circle is actually white, yellow, lightning, and the white is yin. And around the whole, and the entire Sharingan is black, so yang. Naruto's pissed, but the white dot changed into a slit, so he was kind of using the Kiwi mode now. He was so pissed. <sighs> That he didn't realize this, but uh, Naruto's like when he was sort of on top, not on top of a building, but when he was sort of on the fence, the fence was sort of melting. Yeah, he was like standing on the fence when he saw Hinata sort of get stabbed. And Naruto was so much enraged that the Kiwi realized that Naruto managed to take some of the chakra, not all of the chakra of the Kiwi, but just some, like 10% of it. Naruto was burning through the, what's it called, the little gate cage or whatever, the fence. That he rushes at Kiba. But before even rushing at Kiba, Sasuke already fast enough just to kick Kiba in the face. Up. And Naruto grabs Kiba from the face and smashes him to the ground. And then when he smashes him to the ground, picks him up and like throws him. Now Sasuke rushes to different uh, hand signs and uses fire saw, fireball. And shoots it at Kiba. Kiba smashes at the what's it called building of the academy. Of course, he didn't fully smash through it. He just had a crater. And when Kiba opens his eyes, he's wide in with a fireball. He gets hit. And then Naruto, without even doing without doing any hand signs, uses wood style. So I realized when I saying you see here, so Naruto has all three well basic elements that yeah, lightning will be counting when yeah. But he has water, earth, and fire. So with the water and earth, he doesn't realize this, but he does wood style out of the ground and just uh what? Let me say again. Sorry, it's about burp. Rushes at Kiva. Kiva, he gets hit into the classroom, into the actual academy classroom that Naruto and the others will shut up in, and all that. And Aruka is sort of just well reading some papers about like the academy classrooms and all that and when he saw well a smash he was like ah oh, that must be playing reckless so i keep it flying through kind of burnt his clothes and all that and aruko is shocked and multiple like wooden uh tangros and all that managed to grab kiba's different arms arms and legs and even the waist naruto was so pissed that he wanted to crush him so it was kind of hurting kiba more Naruto having his let me say that he's having his hand kind of just 
go into a sort of a fist motion. It's closer to a fist motion. You know how Gar when he does sand coffin and all that? He puts his hand out and just crushes it into a, a fist motion? Yeah. Naruto's closely doing that to a fist motion and he was just screaming out. Sasuke realized that Naruto was like right next to him. Naruto having his hand out. The wood is sort of crushing like he was like arms and legs and waist. Naruto saying, die. Die. Naruto's so close to putting it into a full fist motion. And uh, Sasuke kind of notices this but should have been wrong. So he kind of rushes at, well, Naruto and kind of kicks him. Naruto kind of left, uh, well, widen his hand out of the close, almost fist, uh, close hand into a widened hand. So all the wood, like, um, tentacles and all that kind of let go of, well, Kiba. Kiba was, like, gasping for air because he almost got crushed. And Naruto says, Sasuke, why did he do that? Now, Sasuke realizes his eyes. His, his eyes just widen. Then Naruto has the Sharingan, but not any normal Sharingan. Naruto's eyes are just completely different from the normal Sharingan. Now, Sasuke said, you idiot, you are about to kill him. And Naruto says, if I did, then that bastard should have never stabbed Hinata. And Sasuke was just realizing that Naruto does always see like Naruto protecting Hinata as a sister. So he kind of realized that, yeah, Naruto is basically a sibling towards Na uh, Hinata, sort of. And Sasuke does say, yeah, I also wanted to kill him, but not that way. You can't just brutally murder him like that. Aren't you a damn senju? Don't you have to like do some stupid rules of like protecting the civilians and all that? And Naruto, he wanted in his eyes and he's like, that is true. <clears throat> Naruto is fighting between hatred and love. Well, not hatred and love. Light and darkness between his heart. And of course, this is where Kurama kind of put Naruto into his mindscape. And it told Naruto to give him back his 10% of the Naito that he took. Chakra. And so Naruto willingly gives back the 10% of the chakra. Kurama is shocked that Naruto was actually willing to actually give it back. Instead, usually normal humans would have like taken it back or tried to put Nar uh, Kurama into a Genjutsu. Instead, Naruto lets go of the power. So of course, Naruto's eyes, those white tots that went into slick, kind of went back into a dot. And Naruto just collapsed. His eyes, they turn off back into, well, a crystallized blue shark. I mean, not, bleh, not sharing it. A crystallized blue eye and a purple, well, crystal eye. Purple dark, n darkness, purple eye. Yeah, you get the point. And, of course, he passed out. His, he just closes his eyes and passes out. So, of course, uh, when Ruka comes out and sees Sasuke... With his three to more shine on activate and well Naruto pass out. Aruka says explain Sasuke. Sasuke explains that Naruto was sort of going in a rage state because Kiba stabbed Hinata. And when Sasuke said Hinata's name, he realized so he rushed towards Hinata. So people already heard the noise when Naruto and Sasuke was fighting against Kiba. Not really fighting against Kiba, almost massacring Kiba. People realized that they saw two of the Uganukas kind of pass out and all that. But saw Hinata in such a state where she has a kuna stabbed from like the back. Of course, someone in the crowd who has sort of... I should say. A girl with reddish and purplish hair. So it's kind of kind of mixed. So it's kind of magenta but still has some red in one hair, one side and some purple. In the middle, sort of kind of mixed to be like magenta and all that. It's kind of just, it has some highlights and all that, the girl. And her eyes are sort of like bright green. So, of course, this is where Sasuke also come along and uh, was called Eno. So, of course, the three girls, uh, they're kind of friends. They're not really that much friends because the magenta with highlights of red and purple was still friends with Hina uh, not Hinata. Uh, Sasuke and Ino, but of course since Sasuke and Ino are still just fighting at Sasuke and of course this girl doesn't really care about Sasuke 
just sees Hanata such in a bad state that half the girls that doesn't really well half the girls that like Sasuke the fangirls saw Hinata and they kind of ran up to Hinata and saw that she's in such a bad state that all the other girls the fangirls and all that saw the two in Izuka and thought they did it and of course but they don't get the half point and all that so of course this is where the uh well reddish man purplish girl mentioned the hair girl kind of just grabs Hinata and rushes her towards well towards the uh, nurse this is where Sasuke kind of came out and says where where's Hinata of course the fangirls they kind of ignore the whole fangirl personality well not like personality their instance into lashing out and like screaming out Sasuke's name because they just saw well Hinata is such a bad state some are afraid some are pretty angry that two Inuzukas did this and all that and of course, Eno and Sasuke kind of ignore their whole fangirl in like instant to go launch into Sasuke's arms and all that, but instead were pissed at the Inuzukas. So of course, Sasuke like grab one of the Inuzukas and punch him in like to the ground. Eno decides to just like try to search into his mind and all that, cause she does sort of has some clan techniques, not many. She only knows the basic one to go into her, like, the person's memories and all that. Well, like, into the mind, like, mindscape and all that. To control their bodies and all that. So, of course, Ina falls down and looks into, well, the person's, like, mind and all that. And found out that Kiba was sort of the most responsible for it. Since Kiba was in the whole thing of the memories. So, yeah. Uh, Ino does have, well, go into someone's body and like well yeah controlling it and also looking through the mindscape and all that well memories so of course uh soft square just punched one of the uh inuzukas and of course a, a bunch of people here crack some of the guys kind of just hurt like they grabbed their stomach like hurt him really bad because thank god that's not damn and all that but then sasuke says what are you two doing where where's Hinata? He looks at the guys and the guy says, uh what's called um So the guy says Sabalana Karun like brought Hinata straight to the nurse. And of course Sasuke already knows who that girl is. They just some guys usually don't realize who this girl is because she doesn't talk that much. She sort of talks to Sasuke or, or Eno when they're sort of in the classroom. But that she barely talks that much. She's sort of quiet. She's not a nervous girl and all that, like uh, Hinata and original canon. But she is. She doesn't like talking to anyone else except for like Sasuke or Eno. But of course, when Eno and Sasuke are in their like whole fangirl state, she doesn't talk to them at all. So she's not a fangirl towards Sasuke or e or not Eno, Naruto, who's a senju. Well, I mean, she's sort of, but he she kind of sad that. Naruto is always with Hinata, so she always thought that both Naruto and Hinata were like more closer to each other, but they're really close and just being siblings. So Naruto just was passed out. Of course, this is where uh, Ruka did grab well, Naruto and brought to the nurse office, and Mizuki brought well Kiva straight to the nurse office also. This is where the um, academy decided to call in well Hiyashi. And into the whole academy explained that Hinata was hurt. This is where Hiyashi had a very, uh, how should I say, multiple veins in his head. So pissed that you can see the, well, the, how red he was. You can see that he was red as uh, what's called Kushina's hair. And his hair was sort of flying up similar to that of Kushina's hair and all that. When she was angry. And you can just feel the heat like running off of him. Like just like freaking leaking off of him you can just feel the anger and just blood uh well the uh bloodless and also the murderous intent to kill someone who did this to his precious princess <laughs> so yeah um if you know if you know how like a father sort of reacts to like their daughters and all that and how like they're always pissed if their daughters usually get her and all that yeah that's basically Hiyashi, ready to kill motherfucker. 
Now, he also did heard about Naruto also well, passing out. And he's also pretty mad with that. But he's not mad enough when hearing that Tenato was stabbed through the back. Thinking that the two Inuzuka stab was stab her. So, he's pretty mad. He goes to the academy first. Hidashi is trying to stop Hiyashi, but he's having a shit time to try to control his older, well, not older brother. Yeah, older brother for a slight amount. Like, they're twins, yeah, but, yeah, he managed to get first out. So, yeah. But, of course, Hidashi's like, stop. Hiyashi, stop it. Don't try to murder anyone. Hidashi's not listening. Hinabi is coming along, and now she's also just there, kind of. Seeing that uh, Hiyashi, well, his leader, sort of, of the Hyuga, is just in such a rage of anger and hatred. Nerji is also pretty angry to whoever, whoever did this to his, like, um, sister, to, like, the sister, you know, that. Because, yeah, Nerji is pretty angry to whoever does this to his, like, sister. And also sees Naruto's brother, sort of. But, yeah. So, when uh, they get to the academy... Hizashi, what? Well, not Hizashi. Uh, Hizashi managed to get there uh very fast, but he actually kind of took well not his very sweet time. He was kind of speed walking towards the uh academy. People around him just stayed away because they feel the anger and bloodless pressure around him. So people just started walking like when they were sort of walking towards a store, they saw that his uh, well, Hiyashi was coming. So they ran into the store. They were afraid. <laughs> they were just they were just trembling. They were like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? That's an angry, that's an angry Hyuga member. And uh, that's the leader of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, of course, uh, what's come? This is where Harus is also sort of like called in towards the academy. He heard that Naruto passed out. But uh, Hinata Hyuga was sort of stabbed by either Nzuka. And this is why, well, a bunch of students were left out early. So multiple like, students and all that. Like, def uh, definitely the uh, civilians and clan members and all that. Except for the two Inuzukas, Kiba. Sasuke was let out early, but Sasuke stayed. Because he was worried about Hinata. But there's uh, Hinata, Kiwa, and Naruto were still sort of like sitting in the, uh, not sitting, they were kind of um, just laying on the, uh, what's called, beds of the nurse room and all that. So when Hiyashi managed to get there, he saw Aruka, and Aruka kind of felt the bloodless anger and murderous intent to actually kill someone. And this is where, uh, what's it called, Inuzuka, well, What's her name? Ah, uh, Kiba's mother. I can't remember what her name was. Ten, ten. Wait, let me look it up. So yeah, Kiba's mother, uh, Tsunami. Uh, I forgot how you say. Uh, Hana uh, Nizuka also came. So basically, Kiba's older sister and all that also came. And um, of course they have their like dogs and all that with them. So Hayashi looks at the Inuzuka piss and is saying. You better explain why my fucking little princess just got stabbed by an Inuzuka from your fucking clan. <laughs> like, he gave that look. Now, of course, Tsumi, uh was caught, is kind of kind of sweating in why the fuck she was also called. And realized that an Inuzuka from their clan might have stabbed the heiress for the Hyuga, remember? And also, they are also sweating, but... Hiyashi kind of stopped his, uh, yeah, Hiyashi stopped his, like, bloodless and killer intent. And Tsumi is also kind of sweating more because Haruzen was cut, uh, well, let me say that again. Haruzen was calling and he had this huge killer intent and, and, like, death, murderous intent and all that. Just saying, why the fuck am I here and why Naruto is, um, what's it called? Naruto is, uh, how should I say? Passed out. So of course, Aruka, uh, Tsumi, and also Hana, and also there's Neji, uh, and uh, what's it called, uh, Neji, uh, Hina, Hinabi, and uh, what's it called, Hizashi and uh, Hayashi are all just kind of sweating, cause uh, what's it called, Haruzen's there with five Ambu members are also there, 
So they're kind of just, Haruka started explaining that, well, I don't know the details, but, um, uh, who should I, he was kind of just, just sweating as hell. He was like, oh, I don't know what to say, just tell Haruzen, the dirt Okage. And Hizashi just said, let me see my daughter at least. And, um, Haruka said, uh, can you please promise that you won't kill Kiba and Izuka or Naruto sent you and of course Hiyashi said why would I kill someone that's close related to, well not close related yeah, someone that's a family member like Naruto but Kiba on the other hand well there's no intentions because if Kiba was the one to staff Hinata then there's a good chance I won't actually give shit about the fucking air the male air towards the uh, Inuzuka. And this is where Tsumi kind of just said, hey, this is what he actually kind of just said to the fucking, um, to the Mutt clan. Like, he didn't say Inuzuka. And then Tsumi gets angry and says, what did you call us? And, of course, this is where uh, he actually glares at Tsumi and Kasumi just, just goes down and just doesn't bark out any words. This is where, um, Aruk and Aruga. Haruza says, both of you calm down. <laughs> Aruka, can you please tell me the state and what Naruto is in? Haruka says, well, I'm not that much of a medic, and uh, the nurse is not that great of a medic neither. But Naruto is just out of a chakra. He looked like he was so in such an angry state. I should also mention that Naruto was actually controlling wood. Like, root to wood or whatever. This is where um, Haruzen was shocked at hearing that Naruto took energy control wood style. Hiyashi is also shocked and Tsumi is also shocked. And um, uh, Haruzen said, okay, what is the condition in uh, Hinata? Aruka explains that she got stabbed in the back but with the kunai. But it seems that it missed a bunch of like vital, po uh, like vital points and all that. So she's... It's kind of okay, but she did kind of lose a lot of blood. Yeah, she was pretty pissed. You got a murder, bitch. And, um, Kiba, well, he was, uh, in the grasp of Naruto about to murder him. He also says, My conclusion is Kiba, who's the one that stabbed Hinata. Who else would be this angry? And, um, this is where Sasuke comes out of nowhere and says, Kiba was the one that stabbed Hinata. And Haruzen then just glare at Sasuke and says, explain Uchiha. Sasuke explains that Kiba went all the way into the beginning of like the day at like 12 o'clock of recess and all that, whatever. And of course he explains from the beginning to the end and also explains about Naruto just having the Sharingan and all that. Like three to more Sharingan, but different colors and all that. And kind of had it slipped, but then went back into a dot. And then Naruto passed out, and yeah. So, this is, well, one girl that kind of stayed after, well, class and all that. To actually see if Naruto or Hinata was okay. Because this, uh, so Sabara, or Sabara, uh, Kazon, Karon, she kind of admires Naruto and Hinata for being so strong. But she kind of stayed, uh, stayed behind just to see if they're okay and all that. So she's hiding on top of the roof, kind of hearing this whole, well, conversation and all that. And hearing that Naruto has a shine gun. And thinking that Naruto must be in Uchiha Senshu. So, of course, Haruzen is shocked that Naruto has a 3 to more shine gun, but with different colors. Hidashi is the same, and Tsumi is the same, and Aruka is the same. But, no, Caruso is kind of shocked that, yes, Naruto has Woodsaw. Who would have thought? I mean, he's a Senju, so yeah. Not really. The Senju just gives him a lot of chakra and, uh, well, healing properties, but it doesn't come with the Woodsaw. Basically, that's from his other clan, the Yoshi clan. But, any of that, um... But, any other than that, the, um... The Uchiha was just explaining all that. Now, Ruka says, I see. 
And this is where uh, Haruki thinks in his mind sleep. I see Naruto does have sword, Putsa. And I see he uses the nine tails power a little bit. Hmm, I should ask him if he knows about the nine tails. Now, this is where uh, Hiyashi says, So are you saying that damn mutts stabbed my daughter? And if it wasn't for you, my, he, he almost has son-in-law, but nah, he says, my daughter's friend, uh, Naruto Zumaki was about to kill him, but you stop him? Why, you Uchiha? And then Harusen says, calm down, Hiyashi. And his Ashi was like, calm down, bro, calm down. And he just like put like ice on, well, he tries to put an ice pack on Hiyashi and all that to cool him down. But the ice kind of melts down so fast that it was just like, ah. Uh, Neji, we need more ice. <laughs> Neji said, I on. <laughs> went back, got into a store, went back and grabbed ice. A whole bag of ice. And then Hiyashi put like a whole bag of ice on like Hiyashi. And of course it was melting through so fast. And Hiyashi, Hiyashi was like, damn it, bro, calm down. And of course, this is where Hazashi says, fine. Of course, the Unizuka, basically Kiba's mother, was pretty angry. But of course, she calmed down when uh, Haruzen just glared at her. Now, this is where Naruto sort of started waking up. And when he wakes up, he sees, well, Kiba right, just right sort of getting on top of Hinata. And Naruto, he woke up at the perfect time. So, he was, was about to do something so stupid that he was about to do it, but Naruto stopped him. Naruto activated his Sharingan. He went in sort of to a slick mode again into the same 10% of the QB. But this time, the QB was willing to give him the 10% and maybe an extra po um, uh, bonus percent. So, Naruto looks at Kiba. And Kiba has like this, well, instincts, you know how uh, usually animals have the instinct to run the fuck away when there's danger? Well, Kiba kind of ignored that instinct, and before he even gets to like, uh, before he even gets to like, touch or kiss Hinata's hair and all that, because he has sort of Hinata's hair almost on his grasp, he gets kicked in the face, launching his ass into some fucking walls. Of course, this is where, like, the Hokage, the uh, head of the Hyuga, and the head of the Inazuka heard all that. And, of course, this is where Sasuke and, uh, well, Sarana, uh, uh Karana, I forgot. Did I call her Sarana? Yeah, I'm gonna call her Sarana. Sarana just, like, heard it. And, of course, Aruka heard it also and was, like, shocked and what the hell that was. Naruto was like, you disgusting Okay, um, let me say that again. You disgusting bitch. Since, you know, the B word is usually meaning for dog and all that. So, yeah, do uh, Naruto just cursed because he didn't care. You dare try to stab her and then touch her. I care if I will even let you. So, Naruto had a T-Bass voice. He was just such in a piss-off mood. That when everyone rush, uh, well, rush inside, they see Naruto right in front of well, Kiba. And did hear the words of what Naruto said. Now, although she was really pissed and actually letting well, Naruto kill uh, Kiba. But then again, this is where uh, Kiba's mother l launched out and trying to hurt well, Naruto. Until Naruto like touched her attack. And just kicked her into a wall. And then this is when a bunch of ambus kind of stopped her and all that. And Haruza says, Naruto, stop. Naruto stops. He, he looks at, well, Haruza. Haruza is kind of shocked that he sees a sick eye in the Sharingan. But went back into a dot. Because Naruto gave back the chocolate to Kurama. Kurama is seeing that Naruto is giving back the chocolate to him. Even if he kind of gave the chocolate to Naruto for free this time. But yeah, get that. Um, Naruto says, Old man Hokage passes out. Because he can't control the nine toes pretty much well, that much. So, 
even 10% is a lot for him. Because this is the full Night Toast, not even the half Night Toast. So, yeah. Uh, Aruka was like, um, Hizashi looks at Kiba with glares and intent to actually kill him until Haru and says, Ambus. Grab Tatsune and Me, uh, Inazuka and Kiba and Inazuka and put them in the jail cell and bring, uh, Yamanaka, what's it called? What was Inuichi, Inuichi to see what's in the mindscape of Kiba. And then Hinata sort of woke up and she does hurt her back because she was sort of laying down in like her front and all that. Her back was the fact that she was sort of like that because she can't move her back. And so she sort of like, like sort of out her body, but she's trying to get up and she like opens a door. Well, she sees the giant hole, but she doesn't know why there's a giant hole. And she sees her father and says, father, why are you here? And Hirashi hears, well, Hinata, his daughter's voice, and runs up to Hinata and says, Hinata, are you okay? Hinata says, ow, dad, that hurts. And Hinata says, I'm sorry, Hinata. But do you remember anything what happened? Hinata says, not really, except for Kiba and some two Nizukas tried to do something to me. I don't know what the... And... He know she really want to murder the uh, Inuzuka. He wants to do an Itachi. He really wants to do an Itachi. He wants to massacre the Inuzuka to extinction. Especially that one damn brat. That Naruto was about to massacre, but no. Sasuke overhears this, and he's also wanting to massacre the uh, Inuzuka clan. He's just... Kind of keeping his calm down. He he doesn't want to let go of the psycho stoic personality of like of adventure and all that to see that he really likes Hinata and would do anything for Hinata's safety. So of course Harusen says Hizashi, you mind picking up Naruto? Hizashi says, yeah, I got it. He grabs Naruto and like picks him up and carries him over like his shoulder and all that. So, Aruka was like, um, third Hokage, what are you? Harusen says, Aruka, will you, I will need to keep this an S rank mission classify. Now, all of you, this is an S rank classify mission. You cannot tell anyone about Naruto's special, well, dojutsu, and also the fact that he used wood style. And Aruka says, yes, sir. Hana says yes sir also. Of course Tsume and Kiba were knocked out. But uh Harusen will talk to them later. Hizashi, Hayashi, Hinata, Naji and Hanabi said yes sir. Naruto was passed out, of course. He couldn't say anything. Now, let me do a couple well a month day later time skip. So now Naruto's fine after a while. But well, he does have his three tomoyas back into a normal white and black. So it's basically a yin yang. That's basically his default charm. Sort of. But yeah. Um, he doesn't have the whole special uh, colorful charm and all that. That was sort of enraged. So he did talk to Karama when he was passed out and all that. Well, a, a couple weeks before the whole month and all that. Well, not weeks. The weeks and the month before I did the time skip and all that. <laughs> And, um, he did talk to Karama, and Karama says, You were such in a piss-off state to kill Kiba. Of course, Naruto calmed down after a while that hearing that Kiba is, well, suspended from being the Inuzuka her uh, what's called, uh, heir, and also, well, suspended from ever becoming a ninja. Well, sort of. He will still be a ninja, it's just he's not going to become the heir of the clan. Instead, that would be Hana being the heir. So, yeah. Um, Kiba is actually put into so much, like, punishments from Haruzen, Hiyashi, and also Tsumi. That hearing that Kiba was actually the one to stab uh, Hinata. And Naruto was just protecting Hinata multiple times. So, yeah. Tsumi agrees with the punishments and all that. So, Kiba has multiple 
uh, what's it called, torture and all that. And interrogations are showing that you better not do this to Hinata ever again. Or you will be murdered by Hiyashi or Naruto or even Sasuke. Because, yes, because when they read through, well, Kiba's mind, they did see how Sasuke was sort of talking to uh, Hinata. And when Kiba, well, noticing that uh, Sasuke was having a blush in his face, and then realized that Sasuke switched very fast and trying to protect Hinata, but couldn't. Yeah, they also put Sasuke in a conclusion. So, Naruto, he is just talking to Hinata. But Hinata kind of just got better, and this is where Sasuke kind of goes up to Hinata and tries to be friends with her. Now, Naruto's sort of scared with Hinata to anyone and all that, but Hinata's okay with uh, Sasuke and all that being friends. And Hinata, and, well, Sasuke says, one step closer, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Naruto, he just walks away from Hinata and Sasuke, and he goes, well, towards the cafeteria to eat something and he kind of stumbles while he hits his head between another person in front of him being that of Sa Savara no not Savara what did I call it? Sa Sarara? no not Sarara um Salana Salana something like that you want know, to call it Salana Salana kind of just pop into Naruto and Naruto says oh I'm sorry about that Oh, you must be Solana. You're the one to actually help, uh, what's it called? Hinata. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping her. And Solana kind of blushes and she says, You're welcome. And of course, Naruto could not, like, say words and, of course, hug her. And, of course, she was bright red. She was really bright red. She was at least crimson red. She was, like, she was blushing so hard because Naruto hugs her. Well, uh, how should I say? Um, no, I should say. Um, how the fuck is that word to call? I can't remember. But yeah, uh, Naruto lets go of the hug and says thank you with a bright smile and all that. And of course, uh, Salana is brushing more, but of course she turns around and says, hey, "You're welcome." Yeah, you're welcome. And of course, Naruto doesn't get it that much, but yeah. This is where Naruto grabs Salana's hair, uh, not hair, hand, and says, "Come on, let's go eat something if you wanna." And of course, this is where Salana says, I, I would like that. So, Naruto and, yeah. So, Naruto is just walking towards, well, the lunchroom and all that. And they get food. Of course, no one sits near Kiba. Because Kiba is the one to stab Hinata. And Sasuke and Ina always just punch as well. Well, Kiba. And call him Baka. Because he's an idiot for even stabbing uh, Hinata. And they don't treat Naruto like an original cat. They treat, well, Kiba as an outcast. When uh, Naruto is like pulling, well, uh, well, uh, what's it called, Salana towards the lunchroom, he glares at Kiba, but then stops glaring and just talks to Salana like that. And Kiba is just so sad. He ruined his life. He ruined any chance. So yeah, Naruto is just saying, let's go. So let me do a about one month time skip now. Now is the whole test. It is the test for the um, well, the uh, Genin test. Of course, Solana and Naruto have actually became way closer, and actually not as well. What's it called? Family, friends, and all that. Not like sister, brother. No, no, not like that. No, they became closer, more than friends. Like good friends, best friends. So yeah, of course, this is where Hinata and Sasuke also became best friends. And the closer more relationship into another, something like that. So yeah, now it's a test of the Genis. So of course, this is where Naruto is getting this whole Genin test. Of course, he gets a Genji to paper and looks at Mizuki, glares at him. Now Mizuki, it just... <laughs> Naruto activates Sharingan. A uh, dispels the illusion and just, well, writes on the test and gives it to, well, uh, what's it called, Aruka. Now, before he gets to go outside, he kind of alerts, well, not one of the ambus. He kind of just goes outside and waves at one of the ambus without anyone noticing it. One of the ambus, 
like gets out that one of the armors that protects Naruto from any danger and all that. That is sort of Naruto's personnel guard and all that. Because Naruto's a senchu. And so, well, uh, what's it called? Uh, Haruzen always told Naruto about like the special um guard that has to protect him and all that. So if anyone tries to attack him or anything. Hinata sort of does have also, well not Hinata, but uh, Sasuke has an ombu on him also. Sasuke knows about that also, but he doesn't care about it. Naruto explains to the ombu that Mizuki seems a little suspicious. He's trying to mess up my, well, well, my test. And the, uh, well, um, ombu says, how so? Naruto says, well, he gave me a Genju to paper, saying that this paper is higher level for every, like, a higher level on, like, random tests and all that. And not even the things on the question of the test. And, well, Ambu said, we need a little bit more information. But if I see him, like, giving you fake kunais or anything like that, I would jump in and, well, arrest him. Naruto nods. So Naruto is going, and when he's doing that whole shuriken and a uh, kunai throw and all that, Mizuki was the one to give him them. And Naruto looks at the kunai and Sharingan, and he, well, not Sharingan, the kunai and shuriken, and shows them to the Ambu, and the Ambu notices it. And so he nods and jumps in front of where Mizuki should have been at, and grabs Mizuki, saying, You are under arrest for trying to sabotage Naruto Senju. Mizuki was shot. Of course, the other Ambu that was kind of near Sasuke also jumped along and also well, grabbed uh, Mizuki and they both kind of just teleported back away. Well, Senshui and all that. Because the Ambu also did see the whole thing that Mizuki tried to do. So, of course, Naruto gets actual real Kunaisha shurikens and he throws them at the, um, well, target. He gets a perfect, well, 6 out of 6. Sasuke does the same, Hinata does the same, Salana does the same, Sasuke gets 4 out of like 6, Ino gets 4 out of 6, and everyone else gets the same average. Kiba gets, well, a good amount of dead last. He is 2 out of 6, because he's so depressed that he can't actually focus that much. But yeah, um, next it's the whole fighting thing. The whole spars and all that. Sasuke is going against, well, Kiba. So, yeah, they put him against Kiba. Naruto is going against, well, um, hmm, who should I put him against? He is going against, well, uh, Shikamaru. No, not Shikamaru, uh, Shino. So, yeah. Uh, Salana is going against Ashi Hinata. And who actually wins? Well, Kiba gets his ass beat by uh, Sasuke. Like, Sasuke kind of beats him a little bit more overboard, but yeah, you get the point. Naruto fights against, well, Shino, and Shino tries to use his bugs. Of course, Naruto uses, like, air around to blocks away from the bugs from actually draining his chakra, and then rushes at, well, um, what's it called? Uh, Shino. I know this is only a Taiju to battle, but of course, I allowed to use chakra and all that. Any chakra fights is allowed and all that. But yeah, he, uh, Shino gets kind of like hit in like the stomach. Not that hard, but he kind of gets launched out out of the ring and all that. And then it's Hinata versus, uh, well, Salana. Salana, she uses a special kind of ability. Her abilities is actually, well, fire and... So, this girl from Fire Force, uh, I can't remember her name, Havana or whatever. She uses, like, some kind of, like, fire and, like, flowers or whatever. Like, she creates fire from, yeah, fire into flowers and all that. Basically, that's, uh, what's it called, Salana's ability to create fire into flowers and all that. She is sort of close to Ayamanaka, but not really. That's her plan. To like manipulate fire into well plants and all that, or plant look like. So her eyes, of course, are like a, a crystallized green and all that. But when she activates her dojutsu, it kind of shows into like a flower paddle, uh, pattern. 
So, of course, she fights against, well, Hinata. Hinata uses Jetto Fist. And Solana managed to dodge and kicks, well, uh, Hinata, of course. When they try to do a last attack, uh, Solana does hit Hinata in the head. And Hinata does hit her in, like, back. Like, using the air pump. Because Hinata managed to do the air pump also. With that, Hinata and Solana managed to both fall out the ring. As a tie. Now... Uruka says tie. You still did good. Now, when they did the whole Shadow Clones, blah, 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 blah. Naruto actually knows element clones. Like, the element clones. Instead of, well, normal. That whole clone illusion thing and all that. So, Naruto does a wind clone. And, of course, it happens. Well, not a wind clone. A what's called earth clone. Because, if I remember right, earth clones... Take more chakra than any other clone. I think so. But yeah. Naruto knows about those clones. And he can do almost any of the clones. Because he has every affinity. He even has. Well. What's I know that. So yeah. Um. Aruka say like two pass and all that. So of course. The rookie of the years. Will actually be four. Instead of. Yeah. Four rookie of the years. For. Two of the guy side. And two of the girl side. Hinata and Salana will actually be Rookie of the Year for the Kunuichi side. And the guy's side would be Sasuke and Naruto since they are the most skilled in fighting all that. So, yeah. So, Team 7 will actually be between all four of them. And Kiba, it, well, Harusen doesn't want Kiba on the team because, first of all, Kiba was such a prick to trying to hurt Hinata. And if that happens on a mission, Sasuke or Naruto will murder him. Or Solana also. So yeah, their team is actually, uh, what's it called? Kurenai, she wanted to have a team of trackers, but have heard about Kiba's whole incident. So she wanted a team that has Hinata on it. So, since she know it's actually going to be on a team with Kiba and another person. Well, Sasuke. So, Karen I cannot have Hinata. And, um, well, Kakashi's gonna have Team 7, that team. So, yeah. Um, so, of course, the whole team's happen the next day, blah, blah, blah. Uh, of course, teams have been wait for a while. But, of course, Naruto and Solana kind of sleep together. So, Solana sleeps on Naruto's shoulder. Naruto sleeps on, like, her head and all that. Same with Sasuke and uh, Hinata does the same. And of course, this is where Kakashi comes and sees his team sleeping. So he tells them to wake up, and they do. Um, of course, he was trying to shock, well, uh, Sasuke and Naruto. But when he shocked Sasuke, Sasuke managed to react fast enough to try to kick, well, Kakashi in the face. Kakashi's surprised when Naruto, well, not Naruto, Sasuke's speed. But when he goes up to uh, what's called Naruto, he uses some lightning chakra. Taps on, well, uh, Naruto's shoulder. Doesn't work. Taps. tap, Taps. What the fuck? He's like, what the fuck? This is... What, is this kid immune to lightning now? Which, mm, sort of. Naruto's sort of immune to some elements. When I mean some, I mean almost all. <laughs> so, yeah. Except for poison. He's not immu immune to poison. So, yeah. So, lightning, he is immune. So... Then this is where Kakashi tries to shock Salana, and this is where Naruto grabs Nar uh, well, Kakashi's hand and says, You dare touch her and I'll rip that arm off of you. And Kakashi says, Can you please wake up? And Naruto says, We were already awake. First of you, you keep shocking me with lightning, keep pissing me off, and I would have ripped that damn arm off of you. But if you dare touch her, I would have murdered you. So yeah. So, this is where they do the whole, um, dream suicides and all that. So, Sasuke would be a little bit different. He's not an emo rancher that much, since he has Hinata. Naruto is similar to the same, but isn't wanting to become Hokage. Instead of becoming the greatest, well, I was just like, Senju. Uh, Sasuke is wanting to become one of the greatest Uchiha's, and better than Madara Uchiha. And then there's, well... Hinata, who wants to become a great heiress to the uh, Hugo clan. And then there's Salana, who wants to become the greatest for her clan. 
So their lights are similar to all of them, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, now is the whole bell test. So Kakashi tells them about the whole bell test and blah, 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 and tells them not to eat. So this is where I'm actually going to end it off. Now, Jesus Christ, I did an hour long. I, oh, fuck's sakes. I was actually going to do two other what ifs after this, but I don't know if I have enough time. Screw it, I won't be able to go to sleep. But yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seed, potato.